We're following some breaking news right now. Right near Fort Lauderdale, that's where a woman was run over by a car earlier today. Witnesses telling us it was intentional. Local 10 News reporter Roy Ramos joins us live from the scene. And I know, Roy, you have the breaking details on this hit and run. How, how is this uh, victim doing at this point? Unfortunately, she is in critical condition. I just spoke with her mother a few moments ago. She tells me that her daughter and the suspect have been friends since elementary school. Unfortunately, over the past few days, they have been arguing with one another. Well, this morning, that argument turned violent. Only thing I know, I have a phone call from my neighbor stating that they come home real fast. My daughter just got ran over. Tina Gore describing the heart-wrenching moment she got the call from neighbors. Her 20-year-old daughter had just been hit by a driver on Northwest 13th Court behind Dillard High School Friday morning. I'm going crazy right now. I'm just trying to hold it up for the sake of my two other kids right now. Witnesses we spoke with tell us the hit and run was intentional and at the hands of the victim's childhood friend. This mother saying the two began arguing over who busted out the windows to her black SUV when the argument escalated overnight to violence. It's not that like she hit her, she came again to ran my daughter head over also. The suspect taking off from the scene, but Broward Sheriff deputies able to find her car parked outside of her home about a block away. They said she in Broward General right now, um, her head is split open. The victim, 20-year-old Antonisha Gore, and her mother tells us she was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. While she is hopeful Antonisha will pull through, she says she knows who's responsible and wants her held to the fullest extent of the law. I want her to go to jail and I want her to be charged and I want her to do the max because she tried to kill my daughter. So the Broward Sheriff's Office tell us they do have the suspect in custody. Right now we are working on getting her name and finding out what charges she will be facing. As soon as we gather those details, we will be sure to let you know. As for the victim, I have been in close contact with the mother of that young girl. She tells us she will be sure to let her know, uh, let us know uh, how she is doing over the next few hours. For now here near Fort Lauderdale, Roy Ramos, Local 10 News.